Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am doing an eyeshadow tutorial. And actually, not an eyeshadow tutorial. I'm doing a review on these uh, Supernova eyeshadows by ColourPop. I know you guys have seen these things. They are the creamy eyeshadow formulas. I mean, look at this color. This is the color that I am wearing today. It is absolutely stunning. But I did have some complications with it. Oh, by the way, the color that I am wearing in my eyes today is called Walk of Fame. You get this much product for $7, which is actually like really amazing. This is the other color that I had purchased. And when you sit, think of Copper Penny, that's what you should, I mean, that looks like a Copper Penny. And this is called a Dragon. Um, I did have some complications with them. So I want you to stay tuned and keep in mind that um, what happened to me could happen to you. And I will also be checking in throughout the day and showing you guys whether these actually lasted on my eyes or they like the the glisten or the glitter apart fell off or if it broke up because I really don't know. I didn't like the experience that I initially had, which you are going to see. But I will check in throughout the day and show you guys whether these are good eyeshadows or not. Seven dollars. That's a lot of product because I got. Still, these Stilla ones, they're comparing comparing the Stilla with the uh, ColourPop. Stillas, are ab these are absolutely amazing. They do not fall off your, your eyes or anything, but you get, I mean, there's a gift set right now. You get, I think, six of these for $45, or you could pay $7 each of the ColourPop. Anyways, I know I'm rambling on. Just stay tuned for the tutorial, and I'll show you guys what happened to the color on my eyes. And then I will see you guys in a little bit for my check-in. Okay, so I'm just going to do a cut crease with this. Let's go ahead and apply it onto the skin. This, if it's cold, obviously, because it's cold outside. And it's going on fairly well. Now, I don't think the brush is as good as the Stila brush. But who cares if the product's good? Look at that. I mean, isn't that just stunning? It is absolutely stunning. Let me go ahead and just, I think you have to dip and then swirl it around to get more product on the brush. So can we do that cut crease? Hmm. Look at that. So I noticed that the edge doesn't get as much product on, I mean the edge, the end doesn't get, the tip doesn't get as much product because I'm not being able to, oh, there we go. Maybe you just have to dip a few times. I'm going to go ahead and dry this with a fan. These things are great to have in your makeup. And then let's see what it looks like. I'm going to finish up the other eye and be right back. Wow, guys, after like 30 seconds of blowing on it with the fan, they dry really quick. Look at this. That's insane. I mean, just look. That is insane how much shine and pigment these shadows have it looks like this is the most foiled I've seen in a long time the Stila do compete with these eyeshadows but a lot of people were saying the Stila eyeshadows which let me just grab one really quick this is a Stila eyeshadow they were saying that the Stila eyeshadows I mean look at that that's that's just like I mean that's amazing they were saying the Stila eyeshadows last longer. I got these, I got six small Stila eyeshadows for $45. And these huge ones were $7 each. Okay, look guys, I don't know if it's just because I have, um, I put a little bit more because you guys saw how I was really trying to define that crease. So maybe I put like two layers on. But look at what's happening as I'm touching it like this and going over. Even if I go down, but as I go over like that, do you see how all of that, I mean, look, it's just like, it's flaking off. And I do this side and you guys can see, I just look, it's like peeling off. Can you see that? Look at that. It's like, it just falls right off. Okay, guys, that is driving me absolutely insane. So I'm actually just going to go over it with a clean brush here and remove that eyeshadow. I mean, just look at that. It just comes right off when you touch it. And I'm going to attempt it one more time with just a extremely thin layer. I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay, so let's try it again. Look, it just all swept off with the brush. I'm going to do one thin coat and that is it. 
Okay, so let's try it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Now, if the one thin coat works better, then yeah, that's obviously how we're gonna have to apply it. How I'm gonna have to apply it. Hopefully, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then be right back. Okay guys, <laughs> I'm here with Kiyomi. We're doing an eyeshadow check-in. This is four hours later. How Does it look like I have any fallout? Any patches now? No. No? No? No, no creases, not on your face. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. The end of the night. I'm going to say around six hours later, I did notice that the eyeshadow started coming off in like these little chunks. I don't know if you can actually see it on my face. Yeah, you can see some right there. When I close my eyes, you can see how it's fallen onto my eyeliner. Um, so it does come off in little chunks, but I'm going to say around six hours it did that. For the most part, if I close my eyes, you guys can see the mo most, I'm gonna say 90% of it is still on my eyes. So I'm gonna say for the price point that it's $7 and that you get that much product, that's pretty good. Um, but you will see like the little flakes fall off and I think they just fall off with your natural eye movement because I haven't touched my eyes at all. But you guys can see like I have a ch little chunk there, you know, some pieces here. Um, if that really bugs you, I wouldn't get this product, but for $7 and that's how much eyeshadow you get, that's a really good deal. I'm going to honestly say that um, it's a good product, but you cannot put more than one very thin coat because you can see that it will totally flake off completely and look like you're spotty in your eyeshadow. Um, but other than that, I give the product a thumbs up. Um, tell me if this would bother you. It, you know, do you agree with my thumbs up or you disagree? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.